Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel On His Wave Discovering Thailand Today I'm gonna take you to the fish harbor where you can see where your fish fillet actually comes from Can you hear the rooster? It's very early in the morning Everybody here is still asleep I'm in my room preparing and I made some breakfast Well actually it's it's not really breakfast I bought it yesterday but I just heated it up in the microwave Sausages! So it's 4... It's 4.20 in the morning. Breakfast, sausages and chilies. Gotta have the chilies. Get ready. This is a new sausage. Isan style. Not, not sour, very nice. Mm. By the way, by the way, I'm actually very excited today because it's actually the first time I'm gonna use my mini tripod. I will show you. Ulanzi tripod, it's just like $10. And I just used it a few minutes outside here. It seems to handle perfect. Much better than my big tripod. So yeah, let's see what's going on. Okay, I gotta tell you, for me, personally, there is nothing better for breakfast than Thai food. It's lovely. The variety, now I've got sausages, the other day I've got roti, the other day I've got rice, the other day I've got lukjin. It's so much variety. Never gets tired. So, what do you eat for breakfast in the morning? <laughs> okay. Nearly finished. This is the last one. But before we head over to the fish harbor, don't forget, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment. Hey, maybe you can leave a comment about your breakfast. <laughs> we made it to Koh Sing Re, to the fish harbor. Sun is just coming up now, still a bit, little bit dark but we made it, let's go and have a look. It sounds busy already, so I hope it is. I hope we still see some boats coming in with some fish. Yeah, I see some people walking around already. And most of the people that work here are Burmese. So, yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah, not too many boats are in yet, so we still have a very good chance to see other boats coming in. I just asked somebody, uh, around seven o'clock more boats will come. It's just after six o'clock now. So, but they go out late afternoon, early evening, fishing all night, coming back in the morning, unload their fish, and I hope it will be a lot. And then distribute it. Uh, there are trucks here with ice, trucks coming to pick up the fish, just people with bikes coming up, pick up uh, picking up fish.
There's also a lot of sea eagles flying around here, waiting for their uh, breakfast. are the places I want to come. Fishing boats are coming in the morning, bringing the fresh catch of the night. The amount of activity, people are working here. So busy, every day, almost every day. So you might have uh, a bit of a better idea now what's going on with your fish or squid. So every day 
four or five o'clock in the afternoon, all the boats are leaving. Fishing all night, coming back between five and eight o'clock. It's about eight o'clock now. And that's it. Outside you see all the trucks, the pickups, people with uh, bikes, people with bikes with sidecars to come and pick up the fish and then bring it to their business. You see people here coming with motorbikes. So you know that fish is going to a local restaurant or a, or, or a street food restaurant. But you also see people here with very luxury cars. So that same fish is going to a five-star restaurant and they're going to charge you. It's about eight o'clock now. I had my breakfast as you could see earlier in this video, a couple of sausages, but I'm going to have some more. Let's go. Okay, so the most logical thing that many people would do is after seeing all that fish, is eating fish. Well, I'm not logical, so I ended up in this small restaurant and I'm going to order a dish, which is very easy for you to make at home. So I've got my food. This is probably going to be lunch and dinner. I put a few more extra chilies on it. And in the dish itself, we have about 10 chilies. So yeah, let's dig in. Oh. 
Oh my god. This is so good. So if you end up in a Thai restaurant and you do not want to look at the menu, go to a restaurant which says Ahan Tam Sang, which means you can actually order what you want. As long as they have the ingredients, they will make it for you. Somebody, and you know who I'm talking about, asked me whether I finished my food in the Somtam restaurant before. I did, but they were a little bit too fast to clean up the plates. So just to make sure that you don't ask whether I finished my food, it's done. So I ordered Patkar Pao Mu. Mu is uh, the Thai name for pork. It's one of my favorites. Uh, two eggs on top, very runny, like my nose. So I don't know how much it is yet, but I guess it's gonna be something like 50 baht. In the meantime, I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.